Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In today's video we are going to be introducing you guys to the selection tool inside of Photoshop. So what the selection tool is going to allow us to do is select certain areas of our image and then from there we can go and move it to somewhere else or if we wanted to we can even go ahead and apply certain effects to just that one selected area. So let me show you. So for example, I've got this picture here in the background here and if I wanted to, I could then go and select my face and then I can move it away. So you can see I've got my, my face here floating away and I can go and do whatever I want with that. It's quite simple to make that selection and there's a couple of different tools that we can use to make that selection. So we're just gonna be running you through those and then showing you some of the things you can do with it. So if you wanna play with this image, once again, it's gonna be in the download link in the description below and then from there you can go and do whatever you want to do to it you can put a sausage in my mouth you can do anything you like so selection tools are all in the toolbox in the top left hand corner so you've got a couple of different selections so you've got your rectangular selection and your circular uh, you know selection tool as well so they name it the marquee tool which is pretty much selecting it so if i was to go ahead and grab the rectangular one i can click and then i can draw it and i can turn it into a rectangle or a square and then we can make our selection from there so let me give give you a quick test run of that so if i go ahead and click and drag it over my face from there i can then go and press ctrl c and then ctrl v to copy and paste that and you can see we've got this second layer with this second layer, if we select the transformation tool, I can then go and drag that away, but that is gonna be a complete square. Now, if you wanna be a bit more precise with things like faces or you know something that you need a bit more detail in, then I'd use one of the other tools instead. I mean, you could use a circular, uh, circular tool for a face, but it doesn't really let you go into the really fine details. Um, so let's go ahead and show you that. So moving down, we're gonna be using the lasso tool, and with this, you can then click and then you can just manually draw around whatever it is that you're trying to select and then once again with this you can just go ahead and press ctrl c and ctrl v grab the move tool and then from here you can just go ahead and drag it around and move it about now there is a couple of other selection tools in here which are really great so you've got the polygonal lasso tool which is pretty much allow going to allow you to just keep clicking and it will sort of drag and create selections in like a straight line to make it a bit more of a polygon um, to make things easier for you. You just click once to, to click it and add to the selection and then double click to finish it off and then from there once again if you wanted to you could copy and paste it and you could start moving that little face around. Now that's probably one of the quicker ways to do things. There is one more that I do want to show you which is the magnetic lasso tool and what this will do is automatically sort of grab uh, a grab itself and mold itself around the line so I don't have to be too precise here and you can see it's automatically just going around my face attaching to the clothing and attaching to all of these lines here which is quite nice. This I think is definitely the easiest way to do it and you can always go ahead and refine this later on. Once again it's the same principle just click one to start making the selection on here and then press it a second time or double click it a second time to finish it off and then from here once again control C control V and you can start to move it about so let me show you some of the other things that you can do with the selection tool so I'm just gonna make a quick selection here and this quick selection is just gonna be over my face so I'm just gonna grab that there and then with this, what I can do is if I was to go ahead and paint something or try and draw something, it's only going to let me do it to that specific area. So if I go and start drawing with my black paintbrush, you can see it's only going as far as the boundaries of my selection tool, which is quite nice. I could go ahead and do the same thing with the gradient tool, right click it, hit the gradient tool and then draw it and it's going to add it on there but it's only gonna go as far as the selection, which is quite nice. I can then go and copy that selection, paste it, and I can do whatever I want with it. But that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys for selection tools. Now, there's lots of things that you can do with this. Um, it's entirely up to you, and we're gonna be learning a little bit more in detail about that later on in the series. So one other thing that I do want to note is when you're using the selection tool, it might be worth using the zoom tool to go in 
and out to get a little bit closer up to our footage. So if you really want to get close to my face and then, you know, make a, a, a more detailed selection, just zoom in and you can do that. So the way you do it is you grab the selection tool on the left hand side here and then you can click and drag to zoom in and out. Alternatively, you can right click and then just press zoom in, zoom out and it will do it bit by bit and so on. And then you've got like 100%, 200% print size fit on screen, which is my favorite one, uh, which is quite nice, it's quite simple. But anyway guys, go ahead and play around with the selection. Feel free to put my face on all kinds of different creatures, pictures, anything you like. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.